Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a video showing you how to get the Substratum theme engine installed and running on our Android O devices without needing root. This is a simple process. It's going to take a few minutes, but the short answer is it's amazing to be able to have Substratum on our Android O. This is TK and this is XTA TV. Getting the Substratum theme engine installed on our device is going to be very simple. You just need to download the actual app directly from the Play Store. This is the latest version of the Substratum theme engine. It's directly off the Play Store. You install it and you use it. Now, normally, if you install this by itself without installing the companion app, which is the Andromeda app right here, you're not going to be functional. Now, I'm going to give you a, description, a link in the description below to get this application. Once you install it, it's going to do this for you. It's going to come up with a red tab, and that's going to say that basically it hasn't been authenticated. It's going to give you a link on the bottom left to how to use it on the bottom right to be able to download the desktop site. What you're going to do here is if you just say go to desktop uh, suite, it's going to take you to the XDA forum and you'll be able to download and install the Java application on your PC. It's a simple application and all essentially it's going to do is as long as your device is connected with USB debugging turned on and connected over to your PC, it's going to authenticate it and it'll give you that nice green check mark. Uh, and as you guys notice, I don't have any themes installed right now. I removed everything. I just want to show you guys. And of course, the benefit of Substratum is the ability to theme get applications other than just the system. So I'm going to restart the device one more time and we're going to go through turning it back on as if we just installed everything. So the next thing we want to do after we restart our device is make sure to go back into the Andromeda application. You'll notice this connection status disconnected. How to use and you can download the desktop application from here. On the PC I've downloaded and have used the actual application. So all we need to do is download the Andromeda client. You can go directly to this link. It's provided to you within the actual application. Connect your device to the PC. And then from there, all you need to do is make sure to run this uh, Java application. You do need to have just the basic Java installation on your system. Once you install this, turn it on. And you'll notice right there, Andromeda Desktop is ready. And it's basically listing my device. I just have to select it and I say Start Andromeda. And the right as soon as I do this, you're going to notice that the red will turn into green on my device. And it's basically going to give us the authentication. Once that's done, you'll notice directly that it opens the Substrate and Theme Engine and we're ready to go. You only need to do this one time every time you restart your device to be able to change things within your theme. But if you're actually just using the theme and you're comfortable with what you have, restart your device as many times, you don't have to worry about it. That was pretty simple. As you guys saw, all I did was basically use the Andromeda application. Once we authenticated it, it turns green. So we're going to go ahead and apply the Swift Black theme that I like. I have a couple of them right here. There's the size Android O theme that I showed you guys in the first video. We're going to go with Swift Black this time. Um, it's given us a small warning just letting us know that we need to pick our correct version of our device. And Swift Black does have Android 8, Nexus and Pixel to be able to install. Select which ones you want. It does have some wallpapers, of course. You can select all of them, apply to the ones that you want, and then we're going to be able to go through and apply this theme. Now, I've already installed these overlays, and I just want to do here is I can go back in here, go to overlay lists. It's going to show all the overlays. I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to go back here and just going to say enable selected. And what that's going to do for me is it's going to go through and reapply every single one that I had. You can actually enable them and disable them periodically to your liking. So we'll give it a second. You'll notice it applied right there. The right there notification shade is down and we're going to go into settings. Of course, everything is set up. Uh, I can go into the Play Store. The Play Store has been themed. Now we have a black theme on the Play Store. Um, I can even go to Instagram. Actually, Instagram didn't get picked up because I think Instagram keeps updating their own uh, application. The Assistant. And we even have the Assistant being themed. So that's something. Oh, that's not use the assistant right now. As you guys saw, the process is very simple. Install the latest version of the Substrate and Theme Engine directly from the Play Store. Download and install the Andromeda app on your device as well as the desktop client. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, the actual application itself will be hosted on XDA as well as going to be a paid application. And the reason behind that is they're keeping the Andromeda application very simple and all it's really doing is elevating the permission requirements for the Substratum application to be able to run the Theme Engine on Android O. We're not going too complicated. We're trying to keep this simple. And the team from Substratum wanted to keep the Substratum app just a simple one app. They didn't want to deviate it and start making different versions for different devices. So I hope you understand and you appreciate the power and the amount of work that was put together to get this on our Android uh, Nexus devices, Pixel devices, without needing root. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.